Prices of gallium, a vital metal used in 5G technology, smartphones and semiconductors, have nearly doubled since China introduced export restrictions in August last year. While China has imposed a 25% tariff on sales to the US since 2017, last year's export controls saw Chinese exports collapse as part of the escalating tech war between China and the US. The result has been a doubling of the international price of the metal, from under $300 per kilo before the restrictions to $575 today, increasing costs for Western manufacturers. In contrast, the price of gallium in China sat around $300 per kilo in February, according to fast markets. Gallium is a critical component in semiconductor manufacturing, essential in devices ranging from smartphones and laptops to the latest 5G technology. Beyond consumer electronics, Gallium's application in defense systems, including missiles and radar, highlights its strategic importance, underscoring its role in both technological supremacy and national security. As such, the restrictions China has put in place are not merely an aspect of the two countries' continuing trade war, but a response to the US restrictions on its most advanced AI chips, intended to impact research and military development at the same time. The US banned the export of its latest AI chips in 2022 and has continued to impose restrictions, recently preventing the sale of AMD's latest AI chip that it specifically designed for the Chinese market. China's restrictions on gallium, as well as similar measures for germanium, graphite and rare earth processing technology, are a response to the US bans. As a result, the US is actively working to reduce its dependency on China, particularly for rare earths. Efforts include seeking new sources and investing in domestic production. A notable step in this direction are various investments of approximately $200 million through the Defense Production Act, aimed at enhancing the nation's rare earth processing facilities. There is also the option to seek out supply from other friendly countries with large reserves, like Vietnam and Brazil. But with China currently processing 90% of the world's rare earths, the US is far behind in technological knowledge and will take time to catch up, giving China a significant advantage. This stark disparity underscores the vital importance of accelerating U.S. initiatives to develop its rare earth sector, which is essential for national security and maintaining a competitive edge in technological innovation amidst the ongoing tech war with China. The gallium situation underscores the complex interplay between global trade, technology and security. In an era marked by technological rivalry and geopolitical tensions, the story of gallium is a reminder of the complex interdependencies that define our current world as well as the reason the US is attempting to diversify its supply chains and bring manufacturing back to the States. This approach has been mirrored in the US's investment of $2.7 billion in domestic uranium production to reduce its reliance on Russia for nuclear fuel. With the war in Ukraine ongoing and the US and EU likely to impose tariffs on Chinese EVs in the coming months, these trade hostilities are set to continue, meaning we may see significant developments in the near future with substantial impacts on trade and technology. Speaking Monday, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen said she had not ruled out any measures, including tariffs on China's green energy exports, and warned that the U.S. would not accept new industries being decimated by Chinese exports.